And one of their heroes, uh, well, two of their heroes, you'd have to say, are out there at the moment. But Carissa more so celebrated, has had uh, big performances here in the West before. And she's looking for a, a second victory this season. Up against Sophie McCulloch, who's made a, a return from injury. Seven minutes to go. Here goes Carissa Moore. Well, let's see what kind of re reply we can get out of Carissa because Sophie McCulloch has a, a decent score on the way, you'd think. Works uh, the rail of that board as hard as ever and then finds the finish on the end section. So uh, a positive start from her. That that wave was ridden with, with confidence and that's probably one of the better rides we've seen. But it was just good foundation surfing for me. Drops to the bottom here. Here's a nice little snap to start things off and another one a bit more far, further out on the face the final hit nice and tight in the pocket pivots well you can see here carissa you can't miss uh you know that body language that she shows throughout these turns drives right off the front foot and uh you know gets so much speed such a class act i mean yep you know but but was it still very good surfing, you know it. Uh, here we go, Sophie now. So we've got a, a couple of numbers on the way in this third heat of the round of 16. Sophie McCulloch's, I think, uh, going to put herself in a fantastic position here. Definitely going to put some pressure on Carissa. That was a, another strong ride from her. That was a fantastic ride, actually. She just muscles her way through these turns out here, and she's going to be really hard to beat. But Lakey, she's put in a lot of time over the years into Waves of Consequence, and she's been pretty open about talking about that. So uh, it's going to be a great matchup. Sophie McCulloch taking over with a 7.83 on this one, Bucks. Yeah, this is a big wave, double overhead wave. So she makes this one look pretty easy. Goes vertical, and Sophie just carves out of the lip, and she's really got good timing on this wave. If she can get this last maneuver in, and she cleans it up. Not a super spectacular finish, but the, the first two, she got the hard work done. Loves her sport. I saw her playing footy over in the park and behind Pipeline. You could tell she probably could have been an athlete in a lot of different sports. As we see through the glare here, Carissa Moore picked that style out miles away five-time world champ as we look at her last wave here flick yeah beautiful opening turn from carissa nice carve off the top straight into a second one and you can kind of see she knows she has to finish because she needs a big number pretty dud waves that got away on her let's uh, see what sophie did here flick yeah nice first wrap off the top this wave's getting really bowly the second section looked nice but she throws it up here for the finish and i think she's, big. she's so kind welcoming to the west and she's ripping Taking down big names as we continue to watch Chris some more. Remember making the board change, still chasing a 6-3-3. Oh, nice spray off the top of the lip there and just flowing and fighting a finish. Well done there for Carissa Bucks. Yeah, it's a great fight back by the five-time world champion. An 8.33. She was way behind the eight ball, needing a nine plus. Very hard to come by nine plus rides out here today, but the 8.33 set her up. She couldn't make it, but out the back, right behind her was Carissa. And uh, this, she just put on a clinic. I mean, the wave just had such a beautiful bowl and she had nice flow between these turns. You thought it was over here, but she squeaked out one last turn and yeah. I mean, that's going to be a good end. With this whole youthful movement that we've been experiencing, she wants to change that around. Here comes the wave for Sophie. Fade and cut back. Doesn't have a whole lot of size on this wave, but she'll feel her way down the inside track. Does she have an end section to work with? And she throws everything at it. Unfortunately, the wave didn't really give her something to work with. Another solid heat win and another trip to the quarterfinals here at Margaret River. A big fight back for, for the five-time world champion. She was under the gun there, 6.83 and a 7.83, and she only had a 5.5. Five. She needed a nine point something, and what a turnaround. Oh, so great to see her answer back and react, but a tough one for Sophie.